entrepreneurship's really important and the last couple of decades have given a lot of attention and focus on entrepreneurship and innovation, which is absolutely fantastic because that's my area of interest and I think it is critical to the success of New Zealand and the success of the economic growth. New Zealand's a, a country of small and medium sized businesses. There's about 460,000 SMEs in New Zealand and <clears throat> on the one hand we have this uh, reputation for being entrepreneurial and innovative and I think there's a, a great deal of truth in that. However recently it's been questioned and one of the challenges we've got is how do we get those SMEs to grow and develop and we're looking at it from both a research point of view and an education point of view. What can, what can entrepreneurs do to really push their businesses forward and we're arguing that in fact, as well as focusing on um, opportunity recognition, opportunity exploitation, and being very entrepreneurial in the marketplace, equally there needs to be the discipline of really understanding the competitors, being customer focused, bringing in place the disciplines and the processes to really develop capability and capacity, and exploring what's going on in the marketplace that's going to be really disruptive to their industry, to their business, and trying to preempt and predict some of those challenges. So there's an inherent paradox in this concept of disciplined entrepreneurship. Often the entrepreneurial owner manager is the person that's brought the business to its success. Yet paradoxically the same person might be the greatest inhibitor to future success. The practices, the disciplines, the organisational behaviour that's led to the success equally might be the things that restrain it from future success. So we suggest to owner managers that we work within the education space to be asking questions of themselves in terms of their own leadership capability and capacity, their ability to grow and develop the staff around them, to ask questions that perhaps they're not asking about whether the business as it currently is structured and, and um, addressing the marketplace, whether in fact that will be what's going to take them forward. So we ask them to really reflect on themselves in terms of their capability and capacity as well as that of the organisation and do that in the context of the broader macro environment that they were operating in. 13 years ago, um, one of my colleagues, Dr Christine Woods and I, uh, were invited to be part of something that was developing called the Owner Manager Program. That's a partnership between the University of Auckland Business School and the Ice House. And that program was developed in recognition of the fact that actually there's very little in the marketplace for owner managers of SMEs. Historically, that's just not been an area of education that we've focused on. So for 13 years, we've been working in that space. And the, the primary focus is to bring SME owner managers into an organisational, sorry, into an educational context where they can hear from academics and evidence based. Um, research and material that's of relevance to them, they can hear from other practitioners, but as importantly they can get together with other owner managers and have conversations about what's working for them, what isn't, and share and learn from each other's experiences. One of the examples of disciplined entrepreneurship that, that many people will be familiar with from a um, consumer point of view is Juicy Rentals. So two brothers, Dan and Tim Alp, uh, founded this business some years back and it is absolutely innovative and entrepreneurial in terms of the way it approaches the market, in terms of its marketing and branding, the way it's, it's growing and developing through both its vertical in terms of buying hotels and boats and other parts, as well as horizontally into new international markets. So without a doubt, it is it's very entrepreneurial. Equally though, behind the scenes and the part that we often don't see is that it has a, as a business, it has a very strong focus on building IT infrastructure so that it is absolutely world class and better than its competitors. Uh, the focus is on building an amazing people culture and developing people and their cap capacity and capability so that they can continue the growth of the business. They have brought in really strong governance and advice structures around them so that they are getting outside perspectives and different input and, and views around the industry, around the marketplace and around what's um, potentially going to disrupt. And as leaders, both Dan and Tim have continued to grow and develop as the entrepreneurs, as the founders. One of the challenges for us as an economy is this idea of sustainable growth. I think that 
what we don't want to see from New Zealand businesses is lumpy growth where they, you know, the trajectory goes up steeply but it's unsustainable. And so the interest that, that uh, we have from both a research point of view and also from an educational point of view is how can we encourage entrepreneurial owner managers towards sustainable growth? And for us this means absolutely the focus on entrepreneurial behaviour, entrepreneurial thinking, opportunity recognition and exploitation. And alongside that, and it's very much an and, not an or, and alongside that, bringing with them the discipline, the processes, the systems, the right advice, the people, the infrastructure, the capital that's needed to actually go forward. And this is particularly true for New Zealand businesses going offshore.